Hello, beta testers. <laughs> Back in the day, games used to be gaming. But these days, it's like they trying to bake a souffle or some shit. Before the police arrive, I present to you 10 things people hate about Rocksteady's Sushi Squad game. Number 10. Rocksteady's co-founders left the studio. Seems like they could smell what the rock was cooking and it was stanky. Number 9. This game will always require an internet connection to play, even when attempting to play alone. If you want to hear the last performance of Kevin Conroy, you won't have to just pay $70. You'll only be paying to rent that performance. Damn, Rocksteady. You should want to keep Conroy's memory alive, not the cancer. Not the cancer. Not the cancer. I'm leaving all these takes in. Yeah, you should be ashamed of yourself, Rocksteady. You've made enemies. See the bugs out here commit suicide. Damn. Number eight. Every character uses a gun. Which gun? All guns. Now that's what I call homogeny. Number seven. Harley Quinn is ugly now because woke studios and femme fatales do not work. How do you downgrade the beautiful Harleen? Rocksteady shows you how. Now, that's what I call androgyny. In the arms of an angel. Edit in the song. Don't believe in me singing it. Like Number six. The state of play showcase was so repulsive that the dislikes on videos are managing negative ratios I haven't seen since Saints Row Reboot. Exciting. Number five. Rocksteady's upcoming Sushi Squad game will feature gear score and a battle pass. It claims that it's cosmetic only. Where have I heard that before? <laughs> this is a lie, but uh, I mean, whoever buying this is whoever buying it, you know what I'm saying? You know, they can't fall down the stairs any harder than they already have. Yeah, I did. I'm talking before they were even born. The parents gave it the old college try and they still didn't for, you know what I mean? And mom, she took a big dump and was like, that, that's got to be it. But nope, you survived to buy <laughs> Number four. You cannot switch characters during missions, and as of today, you cannot pick duplicate characters in party play. Add it to the list of shit Rocksteady didn't learn from Marvel's Avengers. Marvel's Avengers wasn't the type of experience that people were hoping that was for awful. out of people an hated Avengers that game. AAA game. Every single streamer got a sponsor to play the Marvel's Avengers game, and guess what? the game dies. Streamers cannot make a bad game good. They can only make a good game more popular. Number three. Based on what's been shown, there's a severe lack of enemy variety, which is Marvel's Avengers problem. Ah, now that's what I call a dub. Number two. Even though cosmetics are at the core of the Sushi Squad experience, Unimaginative skins and palette swaps are what the dimwits that call themselves designers have decided to include in the first showcase of this game. I, I don't know how they see a comic book and think, I can do better than that by making the skins less appealing. That'll sell. Number one, the game will feature no less than six types of in-game currency. Holy fuck, no fewer than six in-game currencies? Because it's a life service full of deliberate roadblocks to drain your time. Hour after hour after hour. Unless, of course, you want to pay to skip uh, to relieve that stress. And trust me, no matter how cosmetic they claim the battle pass is, you'll be able to pay to skip. At first, they want to sell cosmetics, and then after the game is already starting to die, then they add in pay-to-win stuff to milk those last people that are playing it. This might be less egregious in a game that didn't cost $70. Oh, fuck, this game cost $70. Damn. You're milking the cow. You're milking the cow. You're milking the cow. By the way, the cow 
That's you. You've heard of paying to skip tiers in a battle pass. You've heard of paying for challenge skips when Halo Infinite launched with, you know, you can only progress in the battle pass if you do the challenges. So now they're selling you challenge skips. Did you know that in Destiny 2, the campaign is made so deliberately mid that they charge people for campaign skips and the soy boys playing that, they'll gobble up any cringe. There's a place nearby you two might find useful for your strand stuff. I'm gonna get you the coordinates. Speaking of compliments, you, you never fail to amaze me, you know that? Everything that's come at us, you're just like, bam, pew, pew, spot, cow. Hmm. Really makes you think. But Destiny had to earn that. They had to secure that base. Something that a lot of these people just think they could just start. They could just start treating people, however. Not so much. Some of the people hate watching me to pretend that they're educated to their own audience should listen closely. In Fallout 76, you became over encumbered immediately. You'd have to leave things on the ground and the only way for you to really get a little bit more weight capacity, more storage space was to start paying, baby. I stopped playing. And I'll tell you later when I stopped playing Borderlands as well, and how some of those red flags are visible even now in this wannabe looter experience. Like and subscribe and please comment below what disgusts you most about this whole package. Rock said he waited until the very last minute of their 15 minute showcase to mention the battle pass and completely left out the fact that it would always require an online connection, opting to include that info separately in a Q&A thing posted to some bitch ass site because they know people will not go the extra mile to click that. You already saw behavior like this with Crystal Dynamics who would keep the majority of their pertinent information inside their echo chamber discord that they would ban people from at the drop of a hat for uh, I guess having wrong think you know what I mean I remember when the IP addresses were shown in Crystal Dynamics nightmare update uh, Paul Tassi had to get involved and demand that they just say on their Twitter this is bad it's showing your private information because they do anything to make it so that it didn't conflict with sales the same reason that you're seeing Rocksteady act a certain way. In my previous videos, I implore people to understand this is not Bungie anymore. This is 343. This new Rocksteady didn't earn what they have in the way of people's attention. And you need to recognize what's going on is different than what was going on before. They keep failing in the same ways and stepping in the same ditches because they're not learning. I believe that Destiny in 2014 laid what I would consider a, a cream of the crop blueprint. They shaved down the Warcraft experience to such a normy level that literally anyone could drift through their world on autopilot. Like, like a, on a phone call with their girlfriend. Do you get what I'm saying? I can't stand Destiny after Destiny 2's launch, but I still miss that experience of just being on my own in patrol, watching the sky darken and like a ship come out of nowhere, and then seeing other real people rush in to fuck shit up and, and deciding to join in on that. Warcraft had 40-man raids, Destiny shaved and shaved until they struck a little six-man raid experience. Even that was challenging for people because, you know, your average asswipe, especially a gaming casual, can barely know their role, let alone juggle two balls. But how accomplished they felt when they could beat a raid. Destiny is beloved by those who have sunk portions of their life into it, but the beginning was the most important part of that journey. Their first taste, their first impression was everything. The labor of love, the passion, the laser focused execution of something clearly very well formed in the minds of the people who worked on it, so much was missing from that first taste. But it was enough for people's biggest complaint to be that it needed more. The numbers were there. The craving was there. This is success. These fans wanted more. This is where Hogwarts Legacy is right now. I'm not a Souls fan, and I hated my experience during Elden Ring. Or did I? 
Because hell yes, I want some DLC. I'd love another game from From Software. Oh, you're making you're making a robot game? Yeah, I'll play that too. Capcom showed me two trailers, and I'm on board. Ghost of Tsushima got me on my roof looking for Sucker Punch's name. What what are they handling next? Insomniac Games. Can I just put like a gospel choir here? Do you know why? Because we know that when they put a game out and it's a superhero game, that they won't make them all use guns. We know that if they choose a D team, that they won't make all the girls ugly and remove jiggle physics and feminine walk animations because their studio's so fucking woke, man. We know that Insomniac Games would not make Wolverine fly. In fact, if, they, if Insomniac Games were to make a live service right now, I bet you it would be so close to Ultimate Alliance 4 and just evolve in the way of, I bet that there'd be, you know the ships that come in the public events for Destiny? I bet you they would stop and we could fly up to them. What if the flying characters could carry the non-flying characters in, in an Insomniac Ultimate Alliance? That's the type of thing that could happen. Because when they play games, which they actually do, they get inspired. Because many games offer <laughs> inspirational experiences. Gaming should evolve. And to be honest, even staying the same is fine too sometimes. But going backwards while providing less and expecting more... Hell nah, boy. A lot of my haters just didn't get it with Marvel's Avengers because they were, you know, they were ready for that hand right up their butt. But they were inexperienced and ignorant. It's natural. It is ironically crystal clear just how little experience they have in a destiny, in a division, in a borderlands to make something like this work. But worse, they've certainly hemorrhaged people with knowledge in Warcraft, Ultima, Diablo that would just make this an experience that people potentially could not put down. What is this game without the DC property? It's garbage. Based on what they chose to show us in that 15 minutes, it's garbage. The people that they put up on screen, these are not the movers and shakers at the studio. These photogenic people paraded out to have this hollow college brochure display of woke. You can lick my balls. You know what I mean? Nobody left behind at Rocksteady is Sean Murray. And for people who aren't aware of who that thieving little leprechaun prick is, he's somebody that really loved his baby, No Man's Sky. And after dozens of updates, that game eventually became what he marketed and claimed it was at launch. Rocksteady's lost the built-in audience <laughs> with what they demonstrated at the state of play. Call of Duty's Warzone worked because they built from Call of Duty up. Insomniac Games going to drop Spider-Man 2 and it's going to work because they're building from Spider-Man up. Okay. Again, if they were to make one with multiple heroes, they wouldn't know make them all use guns. It'd be ability-based. Destiny worked because it was Bungie doing more of what they're known for. And even these days, Destiny soy boys are so whipped that they'll gobble up this campaign skip garbage with deliberately mid story. What a hellscape. And like I said, be glad that these people are all so woke that they refuse to allow a woman to be as attractive as she can be because that might really get some coomers in a specific position. The Hogwarts legacy boycotters that make up these studios, I gotta be blunt, they're working against their own goals and we have to be glad that they're this stupid and insecure and fragile that like a hot bitch in their game is their kryptonite. Maintaining what Bungie has earned has remained a tight rope walk where they need to top or at least match themselves. And you guys don't know it because you guys don't care, but there's a lot of a lot of hate for that out there right now. And I know the video's running long, I'm just trying to I, I people are recognizing the hamster wheel for what it is. And this daily login cancer is not worth the price of admission, man. Rocksteady, I genuinely thank you because I do consider you guys heroes at this point for helping to kill the uninspired and unfinished live services that douchebags are trying to create. What's crazy is y'all had a hell of a lot of time to make a hell of a live service, but instead, it seems that you've just spent it downgrading Harley Quinn, which is so sad, you know? But I guess if you want to be a woman and you think the women have it too easy, because like I said, I have trans friends who pass and y'all hate them just as much, take your petty bullshit somewhere the fuck else, man. <laughs> you guys suck.
I remember once Paul Tassi implied, all I ever do is hate on Avengers, as if the shit that I was highlighting wasn't worthy of hatred. People hate this game too. For what you're fucking doing in an oversaturated market, it is justified. Make your voices heard regardless of whatever white boy wants to climb out of Destiny's asshole and say some shit to you. Do you get what I'm saying? Woo! We don't have to make the game look bad. It does that itself. It's kind of like trans people as it pertains to Hogwarts Legacy. When they're bullying Jewish girls to tears and putting them on a list, we don't have to make y'all look bad. Like a woman, we don't need to tell a woman to lie. She'll lie to herself. Just like the trans people, because at the very least they understand that that's part of being a woman. So, guys, I love you. I'll see you later. I'm sorry for talking so long. It's important to put some of this shit in people's head because a lot of these little niggas don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They've been here for like seven minutes. But they really have opinions and you got to hear about them. So when they hate watch me and they learn a couple of things, hopefully they work that into their little bullshit scripts that they're writing. Hey, Dia, can you jiggle them titties for a couple of seconds for me, please? Oh, hell yeah.